Hola amigos, my name is Beasley's and welcome back to the beautiful little duchess here in Saxe Lauenburg. Um, I was intending on having a, a funky little shot, maybe it's rain, perhaps it's snowing, I'm not sure what the year is, um, but I did so, sorry, apologies. Uh, I did notice after doing my first video, um, and I really like the music. Uh, I, I really appreciate the soundtrack of EU4. I've also got the EU3 uh, soundtrack in here as well. But I realise that it's super freaking loud. Um, you know. <laughs> so, I've turned it down clearly. Anyway, here we are, back. No, okay, so summer. Must be. Spring, I don't know. Um, cool, here we are. Uh, Sucks Lauenberg. Welcome back, everybody. Um, now, where did we leave off? So, we called Loonberg. That's ours. Rightfully ours. A little bit of unrest, nothing too dramatic. We were trying to get... Uh, oh, domineering. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry um, that you feel that way because... Oh, shit. I don't know. See, this is why I hate being such a small little province. Because you are... Uh, you are limited, aren't you? I don't know what to do here. Maybe, do I turn to Denmark? D do I turn to Denmark? Oh, Muscovy. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Too many diplomatic... Ah! Oh, hey, <laughs> that modifier is the worst. Um, Alright, well, no, nonetheless. Okay, so, little tiny sex bird in the Holy Roman Empire. Let us achieve our destiny. How do we go about doing that? Let's scope out possible uh, enemies. Uh, possible annexations, if you were. Uh, Alright, Mecklenburg, Oldenburg. So we do need another alliance. And I, I believe that where I left off last time was we were thinking of getting... Gar Cologne. Yeah, right, right, right. The other elector. Uh, so we'll just let it run, obviously. Um, now, prestige is still pretty awful, obviously. Uh, and I'm over my force level. What? So we're just waiting for the Renaissance to spawn. Uh, and once it fires, what we're going to do is we're going to tick over the uh, Encourage Development Edict. Uh, now the reason why I'm not doing it now, well, I'm sure most of you have picked up, is because uh, it increases your state maintenance by 200%. So I'm just going to leave it, um, and I'll wait until the Renaissance fires, and then what I'll do is I'll develop the living crap out of saxe -Lauenburg. I'm wondering whether I should... If the Renaissance d doesn't come before... Uh, no, I just like getting that. Yeah, it's definitely the military, because of the military tactics this early on. I don't know, there's a lot of people say that Tech 4 is just as important as, well, I don't know, the other ones, the other important ones, you know. Um, Tech 4 is important because you want those military tactics. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, maybe maybe it'll be really late fire. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes, you know, like with Protestant, Protestantism, when the Reformation fires, uh, you know, that can happen, well, it's scheduled to happen in, I think, 1500, I think, any, any time after 1500, but um, it, it, it can happen whenever, I don't know, uh, I've heard some people say that it can just not fire at all, so, uh, we'll see. The levy. In time, many of the everyday occurrences in the life of our Duke and his predecessors has become the subject of ceremony. Being able to attend the bedroom of the ruler as he dresses, for instance, is considered by many to be the best way to gain the ear of the Duke. An elaborate court life will certainly limit the power of our nobles to pot against us in their countryside properties, but it could also prove quite expensive. Denying them the right to be part of the daily life of our duke entirely, on the other hand, would also limit their influence, but the nobility would likely resent it. Let's keep it at a modest level, an elaborate and lengthy ceremony. Ah, oh, that tax modifier there. Um. modest level it is. Okay, I think this, you know what, fuck it. I know our prestige is tanked and, but I just, let's play around with the burgers just a little bit, shall we? We'll play around with them all. We'll just pump them. Ah, haha. <laughs> there she be. 
Since the 14th century, the wealthy and the powerful in the Italian city-states have been patronizing artists and scholars willing to explore the old Roman and Greek societies of their forefathers. Bala bala bala, this changes everything. Uh, where did it score actually? That's what it said. So, okay, there's a couple things that I noticed when I, I went back and I watched my other video just to see if there were any things that, you know, I could have done better. Um, when I looked at it, it looks like I have the attention span of a five-year-old. <laughs> I did <laughs> You know, the little pop-ups come up, and I, I quite enjoy sort of reading them out to you guys. Well, uh, mainly because I've never really read them out myself, so it's a, it's a good chance to make it feel a little fresh for me. So, anyway, okay, so let's stick to this, and there's something in my previous video that I wanted to do that you're probably going to scold me for, because it's totally unnecessary, um, and I'm just sort of wasting the points. But, um, so, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's, let's take some money from you. This again, it's 20 years ago. Okay, so, yep, there you go. That's the money. Uh, wait, hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, it's 25. Okay, six from the clergy as well. Well, aren't they happy? Um, <laughs> ah, that's so annoying. If only they had just been over that 60 mark, I would have gotten the extra modifiers, but that's fine. Uh, and the nobility, well, you definitely need. Oh, oh. Do I just. I do have that mission for manpower, don't I? Manpower? Why do I keep saying manpower? Um, do we really just... Oh, bugger it! I mean, look, we'll get these two and then we'll keep going with the Renaissance. Speaking of which, where did it go? Where did it start? Blast you. In Milan. Uh, beautiful. Alright. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll wait for these texts to... Because maybe I'll only get the 1% at maximum. Um, and that's a penalty I am happy to take, thank you very much. Um, okay, and yes, yeah, sorry, here we go, so change the government. Um, I mean, look, there, there is a reason behind this, obviously being in the HRE, you know, we want to be able to expand without everyone getting their knickers in a twist, um, or not, whatever you want to say. Um, plus, I think I said, you know, in my previous video that I'd like to sort of go for an achievement, and the absolutism one is absolutely uh, something I'd be interested in, so, ooh, yeah, whatever. Asking you, you know? What a dick. Nah, I don't know, he's, Bernard's still around, 66 years of age, what a legend. Um, yeah, grooming Christian to take over the, the duchessy to become duke. Of uh, Isn't that great? Can't wait. It's gonna be a good time. All right, let's build build up on you. Let's see if we can get your alliance with you. Not just yet. Um, all right. I yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I really did choose a pretty shitty starting uh, country. Uh, but as I said in the first video, I, I just really enjoyed the the fun of playing an OPM uh, one province minor. Um, I realised I was going acronym crazy. Uh, a little bit more explanatory, because I know when I first started watching gameplays, I always thought to myself, oh, I don't, I don't understand any of these acronyms, there's no compendium of all the acronyms, and jargon, and link, actually, maybe there is, maybe the wiki has some, but, uh, anyway, whatever, I'm prattling on like a madman. So, yeah, uh, probably a very poor country to start off with, because there isn't going to be a lot we can do, um, on our own, we are somewhat reliant on our alliances. So, in that sense, I guess we're just going to have to relax for a bit. Uh, let the unrest cool down here. Uh, get our techs. Our two techs. Yeah, fuck it. We'll get in the marketplace as well. Do we bother to get the marketplace? Does it really matter? I mean, we could just pummel it all into development. Yeah, bugger it. Fuck it, we'll do it. Um... And because it did spawn in Milan, so say if it spawned in like uh, Mantua or, or, or Lucca, Luca or whatever, Montefrat or whatever, uh, because they are one provinces, they would embrace it immediately. I mean, obviously depending on the money that they have, but the, the cost would be ridiculously small. But I, I believe because it is spawned in Venice, and again, I really honestly don't know very much about what I'm talking about, but it, it sounds good, doesn't it? Um, because it's born in Venice, and particularly because it's born in a province that isn't there an accepted culture as well, does that have an effect on its 
road. Well, regardless, I think because it isn't in a single province, that it takes time for it to spread throughout that country for them to fully embrace it. Um, so, anyway, it doesn't matter. What we're going to be focused on is developing the shit out of Saxe Lauenburg. And it's really cool because, like, I just. The attention to detail in this game is absolutely incredible. In fact, all Paradox games have this incredible attention to detail that is. Uh, I just really love it. I really, really adore it. Here we are. Pike Square. Throughout the Middle Ages, cavalry's dominance was being challenged by disciplined pikemen. In battles such as Bannockburn and the Golden Spurs, cavalry was defeated by spikes, a combination of improved training and discipline, and the addition of swordsmen to provide close combat support has raised this formation at the peak of its efficiency. Military tactics. Uh, perfect. Wonderful. Uh, are we best of besties? Yes, indeed we are. Uh, again, it, yeah, it doesn't really... They're not going to be a huge help. Uh, they are an elector. I like that. I like the idea of having electors on my side. It plays into the whole RP element that I was talking about. Of the Ascany lineage. Um, hopefully Bernard gets to see a couple more wars or a war. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, I know in my first video I was sort of talking about the history a little bit. Uh, should I say bumbling about the history? Because clearly I just didn't have my facts right. I sort of scribbled down a couple notes and... Um, I had sort of dot points, and I thought I was pretty confident in... Clearly not. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what I'm endeavouring to do now is sort of compile, uh, you know, just a snapshot. I think I started in 1203, um, and I said that saxe lauenburg was uh, given back to the Duke of Saxony. Uh, Albert I, uh, Albert I had two kids, John and Albert II. John inherited the throne of the Duke of uh, Saxony, um, but he resisted resigned, um, and it was his brother, Albert II, who, uh, who uh, became Duke, essentially. Uh, and then it was uh, John's kids, so Albert's nephews, he had uh, uh, three. It was Albert III, um, it was, uh, Albert II, and uh, John, I believe. Again, John II. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, yeah, and so they divvied up the lands uh, amongst themselves, as you do. And uh, yeah, they were pretty, pretty uh, insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to endeavour to find out more about the Askenia lineage um, and how they sort of came about. Um, and then yeah, we'll just sort of like we'll, we'll try and do it up until I don't know somewhere in the 1400s, late 1300s, and then say you know Bernhard uh, had a change of heart, wasn't happy with just having a little dinky province in the middle of, uh, you know, northern Germany. Okay, alright, fuck it, we're doing it. Uh, where is it? Encourage development. Uh, where are we at? Okay. So, yep, let's do it then, shall we? Let's, uh, I know it's so stupid, uh, and again, I'm quite unnecessary, but I just like to keep things a little even. Uh, the, man, the, the manpower as well, because we are quite small at the moment, usually I wouldn't bother... Monthly autumn, yeah, monthly autumn. Fuck it. Usually I wouldn't bother with um, uh, developing uh, sort of the, the manpower component, uh, but it is essential here. Fuck, we also lost... Wait, did we start with one? Regardless, we need it. We definitely need it. Yeah, because once it gets to 10, it automatically ticks. Um, 20, you get again, so 0 0.10 for, for 10 development, uh, and then 0 0.20 for... 20 development. Math. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was just like that sort of... I'll bugger it all to hell. Let's get their taxes going. Woo! Alright, so the people of saxe lauenburg are being taxed the shit heap uh, while the production and our defences are sort of lagging behind. Thank you, Visma. Um, Alright. Oh, I'm glad we've got them. I'm glad we've got them. Little bit. So, hey, what is that bipolar over here? Brandy Wandy. Um, do you reckon? Could happen. Should I? I don't know. I mean, it's essentially the entirety of this episode will be alliance building, which is fine. You know, that's important too. It's all a part of the gameplay. I'll bugger it all to hell. Let us wed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Mm, got minus there. Hmm. Mm. I mean, I don't care, Brandy. I honestly don't. 
I did at the time. I know I called you a little bitch. I do apologize. The profanities were unnecessary. Uh, but, you know, don't, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Uh, yeah, see, this. This is gonna be difficult. Where are you at? Where are you? Matchburn. Gelder. 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 But. Alright, just, okay, forget it. We're just going to build up claims all over the place. Uh, and then in the event that we see a little opening, um, that's when we'll, we'll just ram ourselves in. And uh, so, you know, let's say, for example, Pomeranian goes to war with the Teutonic Order. And they're getting beaten because they're pulled in Mecklenburg and then Pomeranian won't join the war. See, this, this is what I'm saying about the alliance networks. It's, it's very intricate. It's very weaved, especially around here. Um, I mean the Holy Roman Empire in general, but particularly up north with the trade leagues, uh, sort of quite dominant. Um, so we're just going to have to leave it for a bit and sporadically develop it here, develop here, um, in hopes that. The, and see, this is the thing. This is why you wait until the Renaissance fires, because even though the ticking, the, the okay, the ticking. Okay, so I was wrong. 0 0.10. I don't know what the hell bullshit I'm on about. There you go. It says it all there. I don't even need to explain it. What is this currently spread? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, adjacent pro so there are other... Okay, right, cool. So if we get to 20, it'll be 0 0.5 again, so that's a 0 0.10. Oh, and... Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was fine. Um, so we'll try and endeavor to get to 20 development here. Again, I want to keep it sort of even. I don't want, uh, you know, the, the poor peasantry of Saxe-Lauenburg to be taxed too heavily. We must keep our citizens in line. Um... Right, yeah, so I guess let's have a little look around. We'll bump up the speed a bit. Ain't nothing too special going. Wait, what was that mission again? Oh, uh, the man power. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Look, I took that initially, not thinking. Uh, anyway, whatever, we'll leave it. We'll get it, we'll get it. We'll get that unrest modifier, it doesn't really matter. Alright, anyway, so Byzantine Empire is still lying around. Hey, um, okay. no friends. Ugh, it just... The Ottomans are such a pain in the ass. If you don't deal with them early, if you don't deal with them by the time that they've... Well, by the time that they've done their first war with Hungary and they've taken land, then you sort of shot yourself in the foot. I mean, I could fall Russia. Now that's an interesting... I don't know, we'll see. There's endless possibilities here. Uh, but again, main aim, I think, Ideally, um, because you know each gameplay it does need a, 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 a main aim, and it will be to be carved the Holy Roman Emperor. Now I know I've said that a million fucking times before, but I don't know. It's always good to remind myself, uh, if, if nothing else. So yeah, let's keep a, let's keep an eye out for wars here because wars are important. They will let Saxony. Ah. <gasps> Oh, we need to get this claim. Oh, wait, they are not allies anymore. Never mind. Um, uh -huh. Okay, claims first. Claims first, alliances later. We've got Cologne. <laughs> uh, we've got Bohemia. Sufficient deterrence for the time being. Uh, and we would just wait. So, yeah. How are you going, huh? Castile, Portugal, Leinster. Um, do you have any vassals on the island of Ireland? Oh wait, sorry, sorry. Oh, I was just about to say, I'm like, don't... As if France was... Yeah, anyway, okay, that makes sense then. France, here we are. Scotland, Oregon, and the Purple State. Um, yeah, and province being beaten to the... Oh, oh province, what? Province, Pro whatever, what have you done wrong? You're at war with... Oh, my lord almighty. That's a lot of wars. Defender against the Burgundian Provincial Excommunication War. Defender against the Papal Provincial Excommunication War. <laughs> Defender against the Savoyard Provincial Excommunication War. Oh, he always gets excommunicated. Should do the research, see what happens there. That'd be interesting. 
plenty of Valori. Same dynasty here. Hmm. I wonder if there's something meaningful. Oh! Bahamia! Eh, not worry about it. Can a vassal... No. A vassal can't form a personal union over their overlord. They could possibly. That wouldn't make any sense, right? Of course it doesn't. You fool. Shut your mouth. Um, I mean... At the risk of... Just to get the renaissance out a little bit quicker, I mean, I could just, yeah, leave it. Let's not, let's not fuck around with the ability too much. Um, so there we go, Fiverr. Got this up to eight. Oh, there it is. And then, <laughs> I'm so excessive. <laughs> so unnecessarily excessive. Ah, oh, of course. Yeah, come, I suppose. Crack down on it. Uh, I don't want to spend the diplo power. I just. I'm a very visual person, and seeing that amount of modifiers really is disconcerting. Even if it is for a. 10 years? Oh god, no, fuck off. Yeah, 10 years. Forget that. Um, 20, yay! So this should be up to. So I was right then, sort of, in a sense. I don't know. I don't know. But there we go. The Renaissance is spreading. Uh, what I endeavoured to do, uh, again, uh, totally unnecessarily uh, excessive. Again, I'm not paying attention here. Let's get our claims going. Uh, Branch League or Hanover? Well, I do like the iron. I do like the iron in Branch League. Branch League. doesn't really matter, I want to get claims on both, but don't imagine. Yeah, okay, so Hamburg, pucker off, we're going to need you. God, that's such a small amount. I mean, when you look at that, doesn't that look tiny? You're like, I can take that, that's easy. And then you do this, and then, uh, damn you free cities of the Holy Roman Empire. I, 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 oh right, because I don't have a claim. I tell you, if, if and when I become emperor, I don't know, I think you, if you have a truce, you can't. But I'm telling you right now, I am going to revoke their free uh, their free city status. I will, I will make my own uh, free cities if I have to. I'm going to revoke them. I'm going to storm in. I'm going to get that beautiful coastal center of trade, plus the Elbe estuary, plus the Vesa estuary, plus the center of trade itself. Uh, I'm going to do it. It'll happen. It'll be a beautiful affair. We're going to love it. If we don't collapse. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, sorry. I know I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have. Uh, it's unnecessary. It probably caused more problems than it needs to, but. Eh. Fuck <sighs> it. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the, the rest of Europe. Why not? Why, why? And, you know, tip of Africa, a bit of the Balkans, uh, Balkans, uh, Anatolia, Asia Minor. Uh, I'm sort of just doing that to, you know, rehearse my geography because it was probably pretty bad. Uh, Navarra has a claim here. Like, I've played as Navarra before. I don't know if anyone else has ever played as yet. Um, and I, again, this sick fascination I have with uh, OPMs. But actually, just quickly, sorry, I know it's quite boring so far. All I've done is talk like a mad woman. Um, but I kind of do want to go to war. I'd like to go to war. Uh, again, so you're a little bit more entertained. Uh, it's just hard. Again, as I said, like... You just have to wait for openings. Honestly, there's nothing I can do here without really running the risk of... Ah, uh, no, no. I mean... I see. Well, hopefully you step up to the mantle, Friedrich. Aren't you Friedrich too? We're both Friedrich. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I've paid, played as Novara before. It was a lot of fun. Sort of. Not really. Actually, kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Novara, uh, what your best avenue is, is, is to sort of ally 
Castile, ally France, and then take on uh, Aragon, and without being too 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 topical, uh, uh, forming Catalonia, uh, becoming uh, Catalonia, uh, which you don't. I don't think it's formable. I never formed it. I never got the option to form it. Purely, I think also based on the fact that this is Basque culture. This is Catalan. Um, I know if you play as Aragon, you can release Catalonia. I know. A lot of people, uh, especially on Reddit, have been doing it in response to the independence referendum, or should I say lack thereof. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's something I'd like to do. I have tried it before. I tried it a little while ago. I like releasing vassals and then playing as them. One of the best game through, uh, gameplays I ever did, uh, a colonial gameplay, was I released Lyon. Not Colessia. Lyon. And they're this beautiful regal purple colour. Um, they've got that, that. Uh, and that I believe, yeah, that's it. Um, and then I just I tried to take over the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula. I managed to quell Castile and Portugal, and I took all of their colonies as well. What minuscule they had, because I was right onto the. Uh, I wish you could see their ideas, because their ideas were awesome for uh, colonialism, anyway. Um, because they got like an extra colonist, they got like extra settler growth, and all the good things. Um, very poor military ideas. None at all, if I recall correctly, which made it hard, sort of, you know, dealing with this block over here. Which brings me back to my next point as well. Um, back to my next point. Not back. Syntax. Uh, ideas. What are we going to do? Obviously, we've got the generic German ideas, which is all right. They're not bad, but they're easily replicable. So we don't have an edge over the majority of our neighbours. Yeah, German tradition. Sign of brandy against their oppression. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so especially here, uh, Munster gets their own. Munster's got some pretty funky ideas. They've got some pretty cool ones. They've got like a land leader, fire shock. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know some, but they've got interesting ones. I have it. <laughs> Yay! There you go. That offsets the disloyal. Uh, Permanent, permanent, protect against the burden. <gasps> this is what I like seeing, but you just, you and your web of alliances is so hard. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly. Uh, oh, oh right, because I've been developing. Speaking of which, six. Where are we at here? Should I just encourage spread now? Like, should I, should I conserve my points? I have developed up until. I've done that before. Uh, it's obviously a waste of monarch points, but whatever. I'll leave it for a little bit more. We'll try and get these up to eight each. Uh, purely aesthetics again. Very visual person. I'm not doing this based on a strategy. Uh, Ten, eight, eight sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oath does it. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do here is build up to our force limit. So one extra force. Uh, yeah. Six and two, sure. Um, I mean, maybe we can get this. This we can cavalry armies. You need more than cavalry to infantry ratio. I've never seen that modifier since before they released the ages. So I don't know, whatever, it'll work. Yes. Um, that's, uh, ideas. That's the one. Yeah. So ideas. What are we gonna do now? Obviously. <sighs> I think I've made it apparent that I played in the HRE a lot. So, I have an idea, and obviously going down the diplomacy path, playing sorry, uh, playing the diplomacy game of, uh, first, um, of, you know, trying to become the emperor, or at least getting a run on your side, so you've got you, yourself, like Lubeck, have a very decent network of alliances that no one's ever going to touch you, no matter how much land you take, no matter how much uh, unlawful territory you have. So, yeah, I don't know. See. So what I'm intending on doing then, uh, as much as I love the diplomatic ideas, I think they're great. Uh, I want to go military ideas first of all. And you know, contrary to popular belief, I kind of like the aristocratic ideas. Military technology cost. I mean, it's just a nice little array. Uh, it, it seems like a hodgepodge mix of all three uh, idea groups. So either that or we go quality. Um, and then we just get some really decent, you know, try and match the, the firepower of, of uh, Berlin, Brandenburg, uh, you know, 
So I don't know if anyone has watched this far. <laughs> uh, do give me some ideas uh, on ideas and choices. Um, and we'll be able to see what we can do, I guess. Uh, yep, thanks. Getting all these missions done, that's alright. These are nice improvements, I should say, the first part of in Holstein. Um, do we want to bother improving relations with you? I mean, I really do want to go to war. <gasps> is it just, is that fog of war? Can I not see that? Do they not have any... I think that's fog of war. And I can't see it. But if they're, if they're troopers... Fog of war. Get it, don't worry about it. I could honestly, like, just to make it entertaining, I could stress the limits of my tiny little duchessy. I could push myself way past the force limit. I could take on these mofos, try and catch Gelra. Um, but honestly, I, I, I'm a very careful. I, I'll be honest, I am quite careful. I think that's based primarily on the fact that I have played so much of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, I'm, I'm careful for good reason. Of expansion on your behalf, I like seeing that. Um, yeah, so I think I might just I'll leave it again. I could do it technically. I could make a spectacular fool of myself, and it's sort of all been for nothing. So anyway, I will leave it. But yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, come, yeah. You can't really see it, but it's it's so cute. You got like a little shop there, and and you know, you can just imagine. You can just imagine, guys, what it would be like to live in this little duchess of Saxe-Lauenburg under the despotic monarchy that is led by 71-year-old Bernhardt. <laughs> oh, God. Though he had a kid really late, so you know what? He is practically God anyway. Um, <laughs> practically. Why not? Oh, did you expand? Oh, come on. You did. Do go, come on. Okay. 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 Anyway. Oh, I want to expand. I'd like to expand. Uh, Brunswick? Brunswick? God, I mean, what is it? What's the, the modifier? Dip rep. Yeah, fuck it. And then cancel the mission, get a new slate. Yeah, so I'm sorry, guys. I wish I I wish I could have gone to war in this episode. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. You know? But let's, let's try and get the Renaissance. Yeah? Oh, let's do something interesting this episode. I mean, for Christ's sake, uh, I've done bugger all. Uh, yeah, let's grow it. And then if we get 30, I believe that's one of the... Yeah, large city. Yeah, so if we get 30 development in here, um, yeah, it'll be a good time. It'll be a great time, even. Um, should we, in preparation for Christian, which shouldn't be too far away, um, and even his mother as well, as Porter, uh, we'll focus on Diplo? No, we should probably focus on... We should probably focus on admin, really. To try and... Because we're going to be far behind. I know, see, this is what I'm saying. It's it's a little unnecessary. But I do want to get the Renaissance quite early. I like to get it, so then you... It, further on, down, down the line, when we do need to start expanding a little bit more and we have the opportunities, um, we will be ahead of tech, but... Now, we, we won't be. I know it sounds a little convoluted, it's a little, you know, but believe me, trust me, I uh, vaguely know what I'm talking about. Give us that claim. Thank Lubeck, the hunter. But God, I really want to go to war. I really, just, I want another province. I want another province. It would be so fantastic to have some level of expansion. But that's okay, don't worry. Um, Try and befriend you again. Let's get our development going. So this is gonna happen anytime soon, is it? A gift! My Duke! We have received a truly generous donation of 27 ducats. Duc ah. <laughs> this isn't as bad as it looks. I mean, yes, it kind of sucks, but the only the only thing it really limits us is going north. Which is kind of annoying because that's where all the fun is. That's where all the money is. Uh, so because we are in the Holy Roman Empire, um, they can't attack us. If I, actually, it shouldn't. If we declare, yeah. So they won't attack us here. It, it's a bit odd. I don't quite understand it. So, if, but if I was to attack Lubeck, they would attack. 
And I don't know if that's because they've got a claim there, do they? They don't. It must just be because we're sharing a border there. Let's say, even start, start, yeah. You wouldn't join there, you wouldn't join with Brunny, yeah. It, it's just what's north of us, so we're pretty okay. We're, we're not, you know, it's not the be all and end all. It could be, it could be our complete and utter undoing, who knows. But we'll, we'll soon find out, won't we? Renaissance? Can we get it? It's running, yeah, yeah, we could, we could. That'd be nice. Arrival of our rival, Bram. want to spend such a huge amount of our... Oh, fuck it all the hell. <laughs> I just want it. And plus the tax is nice, you know. Let's look at that, we're up to 100. We're gonna, we'll, we'll be able to build a marketplace soon. Can we? We can! It look nice there, in the middle. 2.9, whatever that fuck that means. Yeah, sweet. Alright. Uh, <gasps> This is the opening I was talking to you about! Dithmarsh and East Frisia. Okay. Yeah, give everyone access. They're all fucking running around, scrambling. Oh my god. This is incredible. This could work out. Oh, I know it's going on. For <gasps> Already Verdant has dropped out. Wait a minute. Alden... This is the opportunity... Oh god. Oh, oh god. What do I do? Do I keep going in 36 minutes? I, I do need to get ready for work. But I want to do this. Do I just... This is the opportunity of a lifetime. If we were to declare war now, on start, we would have Mecklenburg run right into us. That would uh, uh, eviscerate their entire military. And then we could go move into Wismar, Rostock, annex the... Oh, God, I want to do it, but I need to get ready for work. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave it there, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe when I come home tonight, I'll do another... I don't know, this is exciting. Get excited! Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully then it'll be a bit more exciting. Look at the... the see? Additional pilot. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you, uh, and I will see you next time. And we will. Don't you worry. We... If this works out in our favour, we could get start, we could get both Wismar and Rostock, which is a part of the same state. Uh, well, n n not not our state, but, it, you know. And then we would just need to fill in the blanks here. And it, it borders, right? Isn't that what this game is all about? Borders? It'll look nice. So, yeah, anyway, uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll, I'll see you next time. Cheers, thanks.